Hi, and welcome to Click Fix. This video demonstrates how to load files from SharePoint into ClickSense using the Click Office 365 SharePoint connector found using Click Web Connectors. To learn how to install and configure Click Web Connectors, please see the link below to help.click.com. First, I have an Excel file named testdata22.xlsx on SharePoint. Next, open up the Click Web Connectors console using this URL or machine name port 555 slash web. The Office 365 SharePoint connector is found on the Premium Connectors tab. We need to start by using the CAN Authenticate table. Click on Parameters. Here we'll use the base URL for where the file is located. So copy that base URL, paste it into the base URL field, and click on Authenticate. This should open a new tab with your authentication code. Click on the button to copy that, and back to the authentication table, paste the code here, and save. Then you can click on Save Inputs and Run Table. If Web Connectors is able to authenticate to the SharePoint location, it should show true here. Success! Now that it's authenticated, it's time to work on the List Folders table. Click on the parameters for that, for this table, we will need the sub-site path. So let's return to SharePoint and copy the next portion of the URL here. And paste that into the sub-site path field, save and run the table. OK, now it's listing all the folders in this sub-site. We need to find the specific location of the file we're interested in. In this case, shared documents. Copy this path and paste it into the folder field. Save and run the table again. Now it's listing all the files and folders in that folder location. We want to be even more specific, so copy this more detailed path into the folder field. Run the table one more time. Now we have just one specific path. Copy that. And now we're going to work on the list files table. This is all so we can identify the ID of the Excel file that I want to load. So paste that path into the folder field, save and run the table. And on the data preview tab, we finally have the unique ID of the Excel file in that folder. So let's copy that unique ID and select the Get File table. Paste in the unique ID, save and run the table. Now the connector is attempting to preview the data and we have different script options on the different tabs here. Since in this example we're loading into ClickSense, select the standard ClickSense tab and copy this URL. On ClickSense in the Data Load Editor, Create a new web file connection. I'll give it the name of SharePoint Excel file, paste in the URL from Web Connectors, and click Create. Now the connection is there in ClickSense. As you can see, this allows ClickSense to load data directly from the Excel file on SharePoint. I hope this helped. If you'd like more information, search for answers using the Unified Search tool on the Support Portal. It searches across the support knowledge base, click community, click help site, and click YouTube channels. Take advantage of the expertise of peers, product experts, and technical support engineers by asking a question in a click product form on click community. And don't forget to subscribe to the support updates blog. Thanks for watching. Nailed it.